Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Scholar with Mr. B. I'm Mr. B and today we have this 2008 Volkswagen Beetle. It is a just a standard Volkswagen Beetle, nothing crazy about it. 2.5 automatic, it does have a sunroof. And today we are putting in a headliner. So uh, as time goes by, the headliner material on these cars will degrade and it'll start to sag, it'll start to peel and uh, drape and kind of shrink a little bit, just kind of look generally awful. And so we are going to take this headliner out and replace it with some fabric that's meant for headliner replacement. So a uh, couple of tips before we go into this. Uh, first of all, it does take a lot of disassembly to get this headliner out. So it, it may take you a couple of days to get this job done if you work at a slower pace. But um, one of the first things I do is I go ahead and I lay both the driver and the passenger side seat uh, all the way down in the recline position. It gives you a little bit more room to move around in the cabin as we're getting some of this trim out of the way. Uh, other than that, uh, just make sure that, you know, if your car has a sunroof, the sunroof uh, glass panel does have to come out. So just if you're out there in your driveway working, uh, if it's about the rain or something like that, definitely make sure that you have a tarp to throw the car in case of bad weather. So luckily we're in a shop and we'll be able to do this uh, without that happening. So. Uh, what we got to do is we got to take off the sun visors, all the uh, interior lights that go through the car. We have to take off the uh, assist grab panels, A, B, and C pillar, and a couple of trims. Uh, we have to take off the sunroof glass because there's a retaining ring around there that we have to take off. That's probably one of the more difficult parts. And uh, then we'll just we'll open the trunk and we'll take everything out through the back. We'll take it off. I'll show you how to prepare the old headliner for the new material and show you what glue and everything you use on the next episode of Auto Scholar with Mr. B. Okay, so just to show you, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the key on and I'm going to open the sunroof to the vent position. So the, the vent uh, to the, where the back kicks up and you will have these bellows in here that will come out just like that. And there'll be one on each side and you'll have T30s, one, two, three, right here on each side, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna mark where they are. You just take a, uh, a marker, some paint or something and mark where they are because this sunroof can actually be adjusted and the wind uh, noise can be affected if it's adjusted wrong. So you can get a whistle or something like that for the wind going over the car. So you're gonna mark this. If you're not having any issues with your sunroof, go ahead and mark these so you can put them back exactly where they, they're supposed to go. Once you get that out, lay the sunroof out. Uh, you know, you wanna take these bolts here uh, off, then lay the glass piece somewhere safe that, so it doesn't get stepped on or anything like that. And then we're gonna be working on the rest of the stuff, getting the stuff out here. So on the visor, there's a visor light right here that will come out. Uh, you just have to pull out on one side and kind of rock it out has a little clip in there that holds it in. Uh, you have a screw right here on the visor and this, the visor clip right here will be a little bit difficult to remove, but you just pop it loose with a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver or a trim tool. Then you will have two uh, Phillips head screwdrivers here behind these uh, little covers that will come off. This, uh, this right here, you pop this loose. You have a bolt here behind this to hold this assist handle on. This right here, like I said, with these lights, you just kind of rock them out. They'll come out and you can unplug them just like that. And your seat belt will have to come out just the top part here. So you just pull this up. There'll be a bolt right here that we have to take off. And then we can just let the seat belt hang because this pillar cover right here has to come off because the headliner runs on there. And then we're gonna take this off right here, this seal, and we'll just roll it up and pull down just like that. And that will come off uh, for us to get all the other stuff out. This uh, A pillar trim will pull off here. You'll have a speaker behind some of these and they just come unplugged. So they just pull loose and pull up. Again, you'll just take the, the tweeter speaker plug, go ahead and shut the car off. Take the 
tweeter speaker plug and pop it loose and there here is your trend piece there and so let me get some of this stuff out of the way and then i'll turn the camera back on and we'll talk some more okay guys i want to show you something because it's really hard to see when i have it in the car the rear view mirror sits in the car like this you're going to pull this off right here it's just got these clips here that holds it in and then this is going to expose uh, i'll show you from the other side this piece right here and you'll see here that there's a spring and two metal pegs that are here that hold this mirror on and what you're going to have to do is get a screwdriver and go in here at the side a flathead screwdriver and just pry down and this mirror will pop loose now you need to catch this okay because it's going to fall hard because the spring's going to push it out and i don't want y'all to break this so just make sure you have one hand on the bottom one hand on your screwdriver pop it loose and catch it okay real important you don't want to break this mirror i've broken one before and it's just one of the pro tips i'm going to give to y'all here at auto scholar with mr b so we got this off went ahead and took the the sunroof switch out um it just pops loose i'm gonna go ahead and get the glass out and then remember to do the other side everything that we did on this side a pillar down all the stuff now i'm gonna show you all how to get the b and the c pillars out uh next okay so once you have this assist strap off it takes a screw to get the cap off then there's another screw and then there's two screws right here let me grab my ratchet here they're T20s, I believe. Yeah, T20s. They will come off right here. This is just reinforcement for the grab handle. So now we are going to kind of take our weather stripping and peel down and we'll grab this piece and you're going to kind of peel it back push it back like that to pop it out and it'll come right off and you have these clips right here one two three they fit into these white clips there and that's what actually grips this so once you get that off the a and the b pillar will be done c pillar we have to remove the rear seat belt right here which comes off exactly like the front one it has a bolt there i think it's an 18 or a 19 millimeter that holds that on then we'll take off the c-pillar uh the the trunk trim just drop it down to where we can get the headliner completely out slid out the back okay so b pillars out c-pillar starts pulling down there'll be if i can focus in here there'll be a little screw right there and this is the back of the headliner and i've, I've went ahead and pulled this uh, my camera's having a hard time because it's so bright outside. I went ahead and pulled this centerpiece out. You just kind of rip it out, brute force, and you'll see a screw in the corners of the C-pillars. And you notice right here, I got the seat belts down. Yeah, I think that's an 18 millimeter on both ends. Got that down. And once we get this, this out of the way, we can go ahead and start getting this headliner out. Okay, so um we got the uh c pillar and everything out of the way we've got them kind of in a down position to where we can get a, and, and work around you don't need to take them completely out and this is why i say if you have a sunroof go ahead and take the glass out i'm sure there's going to be people in the comments that say oh you don't need to take the glass out and technically you don't however um i wanted to show you guys this so the only thing that holds this headliner up in the middle is the fact that it just rests on this little lip right here and so um, what you can do is take a, a screwdriver and kind of just go down there and push this on the other side of that and then kind of slide the everything forward and then everything will fall at that point. And then you can kind of slide everything out the back. Now, the important thing about taking this thing out is you do not want to crease it. You don't want to bend this headliner too much if you're planning on reusing the material. So you'll have a lip in the in the back as well but it's covered by this sunshade right here by the way if you need to replace your sunshade now's a good time to do it and you just take those screws off there and let's see where's the other one at uh there 
and you can take this sunshade out if you're planning on recovering it as well or getting another one or whatever. So go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, but you just work this around. You don't want to, if you're pulling on it, if you're tearing on it, you, you're doing it wrong. Okay. So just be patient, work this thing out. And like I said, you work the bottom out and you slide the whole headliner forward. You have some tabs back here that the headliner fits in. Those will come out and then you can just kind of, uh, work this thing out the back of the car. Okay. We're back on the driver's side for one more thing before you start yanking it out the back. You do have some wires that come uh, right there and they connect to the A pillar. It's three pieces of wiring harness here that just needs to be disconnected. You can uh, just disconnect them and stick them up there. Also, we need to unplug that blue plug you see. This kind of look, looks like it's hanging in midair. That will come out of the uh, sunroof motor and we need to unplug that as well. It just pulls out, you gotta kind of put some pressure on it. And then we can go back here and you're gonna have to work around the pillar trim to kind of go forward and put it underneath the pillar, trim, the pillar trim. And you may want to go ahead and lay the seat down or remove these headrests to get this out. It's gonna make things easier. And it should just pull out from the back. You may have to bend it a little bit. Again, you don't wanna bend it too, too much because that can crease it and it'll cause a wrinkle when you put it back in. Okay, so headliner is out. It came out uh, with a little bit of struggle. Uh, what I ended up having to do is take all the headrests off the seats, lay the back seat down, then lay these seats up a little bit so the back seat would go down. And then with a little finagling, it all just came out through the back. And now you can see kind of how bad it is. You know, this, this fabric kind of just shrinks, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it in my classroom and pull the fabric off of it and prep it for the new fabric. Okay, we have the headliner out and we have it on a couple of desks here in my classroom. And somebody has taken uh, safety pins here and tried to keep this thing from falling and that's cute but i poked myself several times on these things trying to get this out so we're going to go ahead and take these out and then we're going to pull this fabric off and as you pull this fabric off you'll see that there's a layer of foam underneath here and we're going to need to remove that and i have a special tool for that i'll show you guys so let me go ahead and get this uh this these safety pins out and the fabric off and then we'll get down to business Okay, we got all the fabric off. And I'm gonna show you this tool that I use for this. A lot of people use a lot of different things, but um, this right here is awesome. It is a regular drill. You can just use your regular drill. If you don't have a drill, you can just use, you can keep the handle on one of these and use the regular handle. But this is a cheap little, I think I paid $2 for this at, at a Family Dollar, Dollar General, something like that. And it is a round toilet brush. Okay. And these are, I use these for a lot of things like, you know, cleaning wheels, engine parts, things like that. But I put the drill on and I can run the drill up and it scrubs everything down. But it also, these, uh, I just cut the handle off. This fabric that went on here had a layer of foam that was glued to it. And then the foam was glued to this panel. So if you try to put the foam on top of foam, it doesn't stick and it'll fall. It may not fall now, but maybe next week it'll fall and start drooping. So what we need to do is get down to the substrate, which is like a cardboard and has uh, like a fiberglass reinforcement in it. You can rub this off with your finger like I'm doing here if you don't want to do any of this. But this right here, just It, it really just speeds things up. However, it does make a tremendous mess. So we're gonna have to clean this up afterwards, but you're gonna wanna go and remove all this old foam off of this headliner. And you can, if you don't have a drill, you can just use a toilet brush and scrub it, but the drill just... powers right through it. 
and uh, you're going to need to get all that off and also if you if you have any interior lights that you've left on here go ahead and pop those out and unplug them or you can just push them through what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to get all that old foam off because the new headliner material that has the foam attached is not going to stick to it it will come off and this is something you really can't shortcut okay a lot of people have some different methods to take this foam off I don't do not use any chemicals to try to peel this stuff off or anything like that it'll just make a gummy mess and it's not going to stick to it really the best way is to just get something mechanical just to scrape this stuff off and get it in the condition to where we can go ahead and put the new material on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go to recovering this board okay after we got all the foam off of the uh, side that you'll see you want to go over if you have a sunroof go ahead and hit this area up right here make sure you get all the old adhesive and everything off of it and you want to hit up this front edge right here you'll have some foam there uh, because the headliner is going to pull over this edge this doesn't have a piece of trim that will cover it up so uh, you definitely want to just hit this area right there be careful with the wiring And once you get all the foam off, just go over it real quick with your hand, uh, you know, both sides and make sure that there is no other foam that's stuck on there that you may have missed. Any part where there's foam is a chance for this not to, um, not to stick well, okay? So the foam is gonna keep anything from sticking to it so you want to make sure you may want to take a brush or something and just brush it off get it clean and make sure also when you're doing this make sure that your hands are clean okay especially when we go back with the new fabric since this is a tan headliner tan is going to stain uh, very easy any greases or oils that you have in your hand is going to stick right to the headliner and we don't want that so uh, I have the headliner material here. I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and I'll show you how to measure it out. Okay, we got everything cleaned. I have my work area covered up with these uh, floor mats here and we have our material. So headliner material is a little different than regular upholstery material. Uh, this is the, the material that we have here and you'll notice that Headliner material has a foam that's built into it. And actually that foam is what we just scraped off of this. So sometimes it's called headliner foam, scrim foam, whatever. But if you're putting a headliner in that doesn't have this foam, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. So the foam is going to kind of cover up some mistakes as well. Uh, you know, it adds a little layer of protection of you know, possibly messing this up. And this, isn't, uh, this is something that the customer brought me. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but if you'll look, the grain on this runs left to right. And so we need to put this on straight. So when you look up, the grain is not crooked. Uh, but again, one of the most important things that we uh, need to do when we're, when we're laying this stuff out is to make sure that our hands are clean because this stuff stains really easily. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just unroll some. Lay it over the headliner. And I'm checking and making sure that there's no factory defects. There's no stains on the material that I have. All right, and I'm just trying to see if I can even it up, make sure the grain is running correctly. And make sure I have enough overlap to where I can cover the backside and make sure that this is going to fit all the curves, fit all the edges. And again, when we glue this down, we're gonna work this stuff out. So you don't really have to cut off the tolerances right now. You just wanna make sure you at least have, I normally like, like it, you know, six inches off each side when I'm doing this. And once you have that, you should have enough 
wiggle room to uh, make sure that you're covering the whole thing. Just know where your edges are. You don't want to cut and you don't know. So I'm probably going to cut it off about right here. I'll just take a razor blade and just zip down this whole thing and get this uh, excess fabric out of the way. And then when we glue everything down, we're going to have to do a lot of this by feel, which is like this is where the uh, assist bar will be. And this right here will be where the rear view mirror and the sunroof switch will be. And so as we glue this down, uh, we're going to be using our hands. And don't worry about holes right now. You're going to have to cut like the sunroof hole, all the light holes and stuff like that. We'll do that uh, when the glue dries. And then we'll glue the edges on the inside of the headliner to make sure that, the, that, that everything is seamless. Okay. So first thing we need to do is just make sure we have enough fabric. Here's my end there. Here's my end here. I have well enough fabric to do this. If you don't have enough fabric, don't even attempt this. And make sure you know where your edges are. Uh, I see a lot of people sometimes they will cut and they don't know where their edge is and it's going to cause a problem. They'll have to redo the job and that's never fun. So uh, when we cut this, we're not going to cut this until we get everything glued down. We'll cut the end of it, of course, because uh, we're not going to need the amount of fabric that the customer gave me. However, as far as the holes and stuff, we're not going to cut that until this is glued down. Okay, so I have this piece cut. Now what I want to do is, this is something I kind of figured out doing this a couple of times. Uh, in the back, you have a couple of tabs here that'll be covered up with a piece of trim. So the worst thing that can happen while you're doing this is, is your piece of fabric shift and you glue it in the wrong position. So I get binder clips. I hear these little binder clips. And you don't want to do this to an area where you're going to see uh, this, but I put these on. The trim will cover this up, so if I make any indentions or anything in this fabric, you're not going to be able to see it because a piece of trim will cover it up. Um, but what I do is I put these on, and all this does is just make sure that the fabric doesn't move as I'm working through this project. So it keeps it still. Binder clips are cheap. And okay, so now I've got everything in position. I want to do half of this at a time, okay? So I'm gonna start right before the sunroof and I'm gonna fold my fabric backwards towards the back of the headliner, okay? And probably about three inches or so before we get to the head. I'm gonna pull this tight, okay? And okay, there's a couple rules about headliner club. First of all, you're gonna get uh, glue on your on your fingers at some point, okay? It's just gonna happen. So uh, if that happens, you need to stop what you're doing and get the glue off of your hands because if you get the glue on the pretty side of the headliner, uh, there's really nothing you can do to fix that. That glue is not going to come off. So. Now I got this set, I got my edges, I have enough overlap on each edge. I actually probably have too much, but we'll trim that off later. We don't need to trim it off now. Right now I'm working with as much fabric as I can, and as long as it doesn't get in my way, it can stay there. So I've got this pinned down in the back of those binder clips. Now this is the glue I use, okay? This is Permatex um, glue. You can get this from anywhere. Uh, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, anything like that. And I'm going to shake it up. Take the cap off. I'm actually shaking it a lot more than just that. And I'm wanting to spray both the fabric and the headliner substrate with this. But I'm going to do it from two angles, okay? I'm going to actually put two coats on here. And I'm going to let the coats, what they call, tack up a little bit. So I'm going to wait about five minutes before I actually start throwing this headliner in. 
and that's going to get that glue time to get uh, kind of jellied and kind of gummy and it's going to stick to the glue that I spray on the fabric. So we're gluing glue to glue instead of the fabric to the substrate. We're putting glue on the substrate and then we're putting glue on the fabric and then we're gluing the glue to the glue more or less. Uh, so this stuff right here, six to eight inches away from your uh, material and it's going to come out randomly in these little squirts. This is why we hit it from two different angles, okay? And I'm wanting to hit all the parts, especially the edges. Very light coat. And you'll see that it will start to kind of melt and spread itself out, it'll self-level. Now, you can use regular brush-on contact cement if you'd like, be careful not to spray it in the electrical connector like I almost just did. Definitely don't want that to happen. Definitely wanna hit up the edges. The edges are what's going to fall first. Go over the holes. Make sure you have it everywhere, but you don't want it too thick. If it's too thick, it can ruin the fabric. And again, we're just spraying on a decent coat. going to be a randomized pattern coming out of this nozzle. Spray your edges. Just about use this whole can if you're doing it right on a headliner this size. You can just I just paid 15 bucks for it, so it's not that expensive. If it looks like you've missed some spots, just hit them again. So we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes and then we're gonna hit it uh, from this angle here. That way we kind of intertwine this glue together. All right, five minutes is up, so we're gonna hit it from the other angle. Okay, we're gonna let that sit up for about another five minutes. Okay, tack time is up. So now, this is the kind of the hard part. We're going to gently lay this over. We're not putting any pressure down yet. 
just laying it over. They're going to work from one end. Gently and smoothly, we are working this into the substrate. Now, like right here, I have the spot cut out for the assist handle. So I'm going to put a little extra pressure there to make sure that the glue gets in there. You may have to pull up a little bit to get everything to fit properly. And this stuff should kind of stretch into the gap and the glue will hold it down. You don't want to dent it or anything like that. You don't want to press too hard. Don't worry about the holes right now. We'll fix those later. Cut out spots for that later. But you're looking for bubbles and you're wanting to like there's a bubble right here, so I'm just gonna press this in. That will take care of that. Use the edge of your hand, pressing this in. Take your time. This glue has a pretty good working time. Make sure your hands are clean. If it's a little loose around here, that's okay. We can fix that when we flip it over and we make the hole for the sunroof, okay? This glue is pretty strong. You also have certain things in the car that will hold these in, like the sun visors and things like that. So contour this out. Important part is the edges. Make sure everything sticks. If you get glue on your hands, stop. Get the glue off your hands and continue. Work hands into that assist handle there. Make sure that you, if you get a wrinkle or something like that, you work it out, okay? Now you still have a little around here. It's a little loose, that's okay. We can fix that on the other side because we have to cut a hole here. And so we'll have that, that tension will drop in this area. And we can re-glue that in. So that's okay. A bubble is where you're gonna have trouble. Okay, that's where it'll start sagging so now that we got all this glued down, we're gonna do the other side now, okay? So I'm gonna take off my binder clips. And I'm gonna flip this up. Like so. And we'll just do the other side, just like we did the front. I wanted to do the hard part for you guys to show you that it's not that hard. Take your time. You see something that's raised up or something that doesn't look right, go back over it, okay? These Beetle headliners, these Beetle headliners are harder than the other Volkswagen headliners because they're so curved, but it's still not that hard. So we're just working it in just a little at a time. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Guys, when you do the other side, be careful when you're spraying, not to spray anything on the clean side, okay? Where, you know, the pretty side of the headlight. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover up the side of the headliner with a cover. That way, if I do spray too far and I get on this piece right here, it doesn't stain it. It doesn't cause any issues. Let me get this other side done and I'll start the camera over. Okay, now we have this side glued down. Uh, everything is glued down where it should be. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to let the glue set up a little bit. And then I'm going to flip this over. Now, before you flip yours over, make sure that you have a clean work surface, okay? Because if you have any dirt or anything underneath here, you flip it over, uh, you've just done the job over again. Make sure, again, your hands are clean, you don't have any glue on your hands, and your work surface is spotless. Okay, so now we have this flipped over. And everything's out of the way here. I'm checking my edges just to make sure that they're glued in good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the hole for the sunroof. Now you got to be real careful doing this. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to apply glue around here so it has something to stick to. spray pattern kind of goes to crap too when you start running out. But that should be the last amount of glue that we have. And I just got glue on my fingers, so while I wait for that to set up, just glue off my fingers. Came off easy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut an X in this. Okay? reason why we cut an X is we want to make sure that the corners are good and covered up. So start out about like this, cut your X, good sharp razor blades what you need for this, doesn't have to be pretty, you can take a lot of this and trimming this off. start taking this covering this up sunroofs are tough if you do not have a sunroof lucky you covering this in making sure there's no wrinkles. You can reposition this a little bit if you still need to. A lot of times if you have a little wrinkle like that it will come out eventually. And around this this is where our binder clips come back into play. Okay, just a little bit at a time. making sure that now this part you're, this part up here you're not going to see your X too big, you can get in trouble real quick with this. 
very slowly. I want to pull this over. The corners are the toughest spots. Gently and easily. Don't worry about the excess right now. We'll cut that off later. And you're going to work every hole like this. Every sunroof hole, every interior light hole, mirror hole, anything like that going to be worked this way, very gently. And if you get glue on your fingers, which you probably will, stop and clean it off. Okay, so in the back, Again, all this is going to be covered up by a piece of trim about an inch in, so it doesn't have to be that pretty, but to get around these tabs and stuff, you just cut and fold over. And then we're working around. Be careful with the corners. You may have to stretch a little bit. If you have any wrinkles, you want them to be on this side, not the other side. So once you got the glue in, it'll stick pretty good. And you're just working your way around. Uh, the A pillar is going to be a little rough, but again, you have trim that cover them up. Uh, they're going to be more difficult than this. But just take your time, make sure your hands are clean. And just go all the way around, and we're just folding everything over. If it's having a hard time sticking or something like that, just, I mean, throw a piece of duct tape over this. You're not going to see this side, so if you just need it out of your way, you know, you can tape it, packing tape, duct tape, anything you get to stick to this uh, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere during installation. Okay, so we're still let, letting this glue set up. I'm probably going to finish wrapping this up and then I'm going to let the glue set for quite a long time before I, I try to install this. Okay, so got the sunroof hole cut, got everything folded over, the glue is set up now. So now we have a couple of... Uh, uh, holes here for small things like interior lights, uh, sun visor, things like that, that we are going to need to uh, open up. And so if you have a big hole uh, that's not covered up by trim like the sunroof, we use the X technique to cut that out. But these small holes, you see, like for this right here, you see this hole there is for this little interior light. So. What we are going to do is basically you want to flip this over and make sure you have a clean work surface and we'll just cut a little slit through here just like that and we can this is the one for the other side but we'll do this side it's fine there we'll just push this through and that will you may have to trim it up a little bit you have to cut a little bit more out this will push through and then when you have the other side it's perfect okay see right here the trim will cover up the outside edge you, you can't see anything it is going to fit in there perfect and we're going to do that for you know the sunroof uh, switch the rear view mirror on the rear view mirror you may want to cut a little bit of a bigger hole out here because that's a pretty big hole here so just cut a circle in there fold this in and all that trim is going to cover that up so you know no need to worry about if you have any uh, you know you don't have to worry about the the outside it's going to look finished just like this will 
if you have any small holes like where the the visor mounts or uh, any other holes you can take like an ice pick and poke through the hole so your your screws and everything will go through that hole and everything will be fine once you get it back in so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and then we'll go ahead and slide this back in and zip it back up okay so here is the finished product there is the new headliner all in fresh and clean just about perfect there's a couple spots i probably could have done a little bit better in but for the most part for a daily driver this is just about perfect so see not hard to do um it's just one of those things that takes some time it's more time consuming than it is anything just make sure you do it right the first time okay so like i said job takes some time okay take your time be patient with this job this is not something that i would ever want to do for money because it's something that i would want to rush through and it's not a job you need to be rushing through so again just make sure your hands are clean make sure you're using the right tools make sure you're taking the car apart correctly and make sure you're having fun okay this ain't that fun of a job but you might as well you know put on some music uh, get in the zone and get the job done if you've done this job i'm proud of you and uh if, if you are having a hard time with it uh, leave me a comment and ask me what's going on and uh, I'll see if I can help you through the repair. And as always, I'm on Facebook uh, under Auto Scholar with Mr. B. Check me out there. I've got some uh, kind of revamping the page and, and doing a couple things on the page. So check me out there. And uh, as always, like the video if it taught you anything. Subscribe to the channel if you can. It really helps me show up in the rankings. And again, uh, all my proceeds go to scholarships for my automotive students. So uh, every click, every watch is uh, just adding money to that pile where we can get some of these guys through school. So uh, that is it for today. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Auto Scholar with Mr. B.